Thank you, Myra. New at five, how to shake the salt habit. You know too much sodium is not good for you, but let's face it, salt makes stuff taste better. Many things, at least. Still, there are healthier ways to kick up the flavor. 12 of your size, Marilyn Morris, on which salts are better for you and which alternatives you might want to try. Christopher Maimoni is a major foodie who loves to share. During the week, though, he eats healthy. The body doesn't process food the way it did when you were younger. So uh, um, I'm just cutting back on sodium and fats. I'm basically in lower salt, lower sodium in general. Why do we crave salt? Salt or sodium chloride is a flavor enhancer that can boost the intensity of a dish. It can not only enhance sweetness, but also can mask tastes like bitterness. There are a lot of different salts, but they're not all the same when it comes to sodium levels. The density of the crystals makes a difference. A quarter teaspoon of fine table salt has more sodium than a quarter teaspoon of coarse or flaked salt. And what about alternative products? We wanted to determine how the products worked as a salt swap to see if we could tell the difference and if they were better or worse than regular salt. Taste testers tried six products on rice, scrambled eggs, and popcorn. Here are the tastiest. They said Morton Light Salt, 50% less sodium, tasted most like the real thing. In rice and eggs, it was hard to tell the difference, but popcorn tasted slightly bitter. MSG products add a savory flavor. Testers said accent seasoning tasted more brothy than salty, but liked it on popcorn. But they detected a metallic flavor to rice and eggs. Nutritional yeast can be used as a sodium swap in veggies, soups, and salads. Tester said the Bob's Red Mill Large Flake Nutritional Yeast had a cheesy umami flavor. So depending on your taste, there are ways to shake the salt. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.